What's up everyone, Zach DL here with some more Automation, the car company tycoon game. Uh, last episode you saw me build this, uh, this Miata here, um, and uh, you know, I said I was going to turbocharge it, so I might just have to live up to that. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and wait a minute, what is going on here? There it is. Okay, come on, come on, revise car. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to go, but we'll see. So, we want another trim. New trim. Alright. So, it's again, rear-wheel drive. Um, and uh, it's going to be the same engine. So, it should be from the Miata. I'm not sure where to go with this. With, with, that, with, it, with this. Inline 4? Um... It should have, yes, that was this one. All right, 113.4 horsepower. That was exactly what what the Miata had. All right, so revise engine. That's exactly what it had. So, wait, I just, I just chose the engine. Come on. That one, that one. I'm still getting used to this, this interface here. Okay, I had to, I had to double click. Okay, so that's that's the engine that's going in. So, mm -hmm, that's the Miata engine. Now, what I wanted to do was turbocharge it. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Ball bearing turbocharger with a uh, medium sized water air intercooler. Okay. Next, uh, let's see, I wonder what's wrong with this now. Lower the compression. Okay, so I lowered the compression. Now, uh, this part is restricting airflow through the engine. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna up the exhaust diameter just a bit because we want, you know, we want something big and beefy. So, okay, we'll lower the compression again. I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be, guys, because, um, you know, I'm just revising an engine, really. And we're making it totally bon we're gonna make it totally bonkers, I can tell you that. So compressor size, we're gonna up wait, wait. Is that as big as we can go? AR ratio, let's see. We want as much torque and power as we can get out of this engine. So let's see, 142 let's, let's I want it, I want it, I just want it green. Max boost. Up, maybe. Nope. 9 PSI is going to be the best, actually, which is weird. 144, wait, why Why did it go down? 100 and, we want 106, we want about 180 horsepower. Let's see, I just, I, I want it to get, be right at the green. There, 173. So now something is restricting airflow. So, let's see. Uh, bypass valves, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's do a direct injection system on this one. We're kind of, we'll kind of update it a little bit. 7,000 RPM, red line. Fuel mixture, we'll bring that up. Because why not? Uh, let's see, ignition timing. Can we bring that up a little bit more, too? Because we want, I want, I want to get like as much power out of this thing. Intake will be a performance intake. That that'll give us a little bit more power. Uh, compressor size. I just want to, you know, I want to make it as big as possible. Um, AR ratio. There we go. There, 166 horsepower on that, or foot pounds of torque. My bad. And let's see, VVL profile. Maybe if I brought that up a little bit. I wanted to have about. Um, maybe, I don't know. Let's see, let's up, let's up the compression a little bit. Um, because, you know, this is, we're, we're like totally modifying this. So we'll do nine, or let's do ten, ten, or wait, nope, nope. We'll do that, 237 horsepower, 192 foot-pounds of torque. Everything is green except this. What is this? can't remember what that is, but, um, let's see. Huh. The air intake doesn't seem that good. Huh. Weird. 
So that's obviously down, air, air, medium, water, air, medium. Let's just leave it like that. It's not going to be too reliable. Um, I still I still don't know what that is. But we'll see, I guess we'll see what kind of power we get out of this. Um, I'm going to run it on premium gas because why not? It needs more power. And we'll do a race, uh, race intake. We might as well. Okay, fuel octane is going down. Economy is better though, which is weird. Um, I'm a little confused now. Okay, straight through, straight through. Good, good, good. Let's see how it runs. Huh. Hmm. Come on now. Let's hope this is better. Hmm, sounds good as a turbo. Hmm, twin turbo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Please. Oh yes. Yes. Um, one more thing I'm going to do because modifying, I'm going to up the red line to as much as I can before anything uh, happens, which will, which will be a while because let's see, let's try 8300. I want to see what that what that does. I mean, it's still all green, so that's a good idea. 253 horsepower. Um, let's try that again. Just want to make sure nothing blows up though. Like we don't want that to happen. Really. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't. I don't want it to happen to me. Oh, yes. There we go. Perfect. All right, that's going to be our engine. <laughs> so, again, manual, single clutch, five speed. Top speed, let's see, 161. Oh, my God. Okay. 161. This is going to be nuts. Again, viscous LSD. We don't want to change too much. Um, but we're going to put sports compound, and the rear tires are going to be pretty big, pretty beefy. Or as beefy as we can get them. 225. All right, that's good. And do 205 in the, or two, yeah, 205 in the front. And we want some camber. We do. Let's see, rear camber. Is that rear or is that front? Wait, can we not do any? Okay. Wait. Yeah, we want front camber. Front camber is always good. And we'll put some sporty tire or sporty sporty looking wheels on there. Actually, let's do these. Yeah, those look good. Okay. Um, we don't want semi slicks on. Um Let's see front brakes. Uh wait, did I not what what didn't I do? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna put we're gonna make these magnesium wheels. They're they're definitely new. Okay, car uh, vented discs in the front, four piston. This thing needs to stop quick. Again, this is the you know revised version. We're gonna have beefier brakes. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought there. We'll put vented discs on there too, four piston, and let's see, two fifty. There we go. All right, that's good. Quality up. Um, no under tray. Nothing. Brake airflow. Cooling airflow is good. Two seats. Basic. Again, uh, none of this. Um, well, maybe we'll have it have traction control and electronic stability. Um, interior, again, just like I said, basic. Um, standard 10s for our safety though and we'll up the quality just a bit all right so active sport semi-active and passive we're, we're putting good suspension on this thing with a sport preset because why not and okay so everything's gone down except sportiness seriously which is pretty ridiculous but hey why not right zero to 60 in six seconds that's pretty fast Top speed is 156 miles an hour. Good God, this is fast. All right, um, I'm happy with that. Let's see, what's our what's our gas mileage though? Our gas mileage is 34. Still, not bad, not bad at all. And it only weighs, 
a hundred, no, two hundred more pounds, no, three hundred more pounds. God, I can't do math. But um, if you guys enjoyed this uh, little Miata Turbo build, um, then why don't you leave a like and tell me in the comments what you thought about of what <laughs> what you thought about it. And uh, if you want to see more, again, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right.